135. Choose one of the following items. A Courtney Gears musical lunchbox, a talking secret agent clank bobblehead, or this super cool ace hard light action figure with kung fu grip. Wow. Ouch! Hey, what's a big idea? guy who smoked reactor, he was like, Who you thought you told you what it's all? Who you thought you told you what it's all? Subject 138. I don't understand why he hasn't just realized that Ace isn't popular and that he should try new merchandise, like Ratchet merchandise. It's not hard. so far but i think their luck will stop here they've just been sent to one of torvald's massive ace heart -like toy manufacturing plants and although the plant was shut down due to shoddy sales one of ace's ships still remains team darkstar will have to find that ship and escape with it before dread zone's most elite forces hunt them down yeah like obviously it's not working Doesn't change something <laughs> It shows a hover bike up ahead, but you will have to deactivate a force field to gain access to it. Good to know. And here we have nothing new. Okay. Take it down. Thank you. Blow up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I vaguely remember this actually. I remember it because of the fact that you have to do the two orbs to it. Let's keep it up. I think that's the only time in the game you actually have to. So am I right thinking? There's this planet, then there's the next boss in the next tournament, then there's one more planet, and then it's like final set of bosses. That can't be right. This game goes by so quickly. Like it's it's not a bad game, it's just so much shorter and there's just a lot less to do. Like and the the planets and the places you visit aren't bad, they're just not nearly as memorable, I, I find at least. Maybe that is just me, I don't know. I just find that they're not really as memorable as many other, like, planets in the earlier Ratchet games, I can just, I can tell you what they are, like, I know them front to back. But these I'm just like, oh, it's a planet and I'm fighting things, like, that's... That's all you really take from it, I, I find. Maybe that's a bit harsh. It's not a bad game at all. Like, it's it has a lot of fun aspects to it. It's just, I think, significantly weaker in terms of like being memorable. If that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Okay, I guess I'm going this way. Okay, thanks for that. Oh, jeez. Take it out. Thank you. That will do. Oh, wait, that's it. Really? That was it? Oh, okay. That was quick. I didn't die that time. Like, I didn't die in the first mission like many other planets before this. <laughs> Destroy the drones. Uh -oh, okay. A group of flying drones power the shields by staying in perpetual motion and transferring their kinetic energy. Ha! Uh, even though I just read that off a cue card and don't have any idea what it means, I do know that Team Darkstar will have to destroy the drones to disable the force fields. And actually, I read that part too. What are you gonna do? Sue me? <laughs> You mean the ones that are behind me? Oh, okay, they turn around. I was gonna say, what is this, the easiest mission ever? Like, they're right behind me, I just turn around. I 
I'm gonna say, like, is that actually the easiest mission in the world? But no, it is slightly harder. I say very slightly, there's not really much stopping me from winning this. I mean, I guess there's the barrels on the ground which do a fair amount of damage, but beyond that... They're not hard to dodge, though. If there was a time limit, it would be harder, but there isn't one, so... Oh, I forgot I could jump with this. It's not a bad mission, it's just nothing's really happening. God, the drones are trying to take over each other. Get him! Five to go. Let's go over the top. See how f well that went well, didn't it? Well, I didn't technically lose time. Oh, I might now, though. Well, one of them's turned around. Okay, that's where it gets slightly harder, I guess, if you do something like that. Basically, just don't overtake them. Just follow them. The other one will probably go to the front of the pack anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. And presumably, even if I was struggling by losing health, I could probably just go on the health pad. to go. There we go. I apparently got a skill point for that. I'm not sure why. But there we go. Apparently you can get off the vehicles, which I wasn't aware of, which does make the like parts of this game significantly easier, I will concede. I thought it had to be done on vehicles. At the location of the getaway ship. But hey, oh, there's nothing there. The ship is hidden. It could take days, even weeks of painstaking searching just to find it. Or, if you activate the vector transmitter nodes in that area, I can triangulate the beacons to locate the ship. Yeah, it could take weeks or minutes. <laughs> Whichever one you feel like saying. So I could take the ship, or I could go on foot. I'm feeling like going on foot, because it's funner. I also get to take out enemies my way, so... Then again, it does take a while to get there, so screw that, I've changed my mind. I have actually very quickly changed my mind. Actually, I've also once again changed my mind. It doesn't take long at all. Oh look, Magna Boots. There was a Magna Boots section earlier on as well. I say section, it was a Magna Boots thing we could go to uh, in the uh, f first boss fight. But I just realised the giant missiles. How did I miss that, of all the things? But more importantly, how the hell am I not dead? Like, genuinely though, how have I not died because of that? That's amazing in itself. That really is, though. How how did I actually not die from that? That should have killed me. Easily. So what's up here? Hopefully secret stuff. Probably not. Well, that actually is. There'd be money! I don't know how much money, because it didn't really... It kept disappearing on the uh, radar. Like, the tally kept disappearing, but... Money! Lots of it! That's what matters here. Goodbye, suckers! Okay, if this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing. Turn the bow crank! Oh boy. I maintain my point, turn the bow crank! Okay, well that's good. Two down, one to go. Just need to get rid of all of these guys. That works. Where's my ship? There it is. 
not a ship, it's a bike. Point being. Uh, right. Move. Explosions. Action. Crisis. Death. Destruction. Glory. More missiles. More enemies. More glory. Uh, how does one get up there? I don't know. How does one get up there? Is it through there? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Not bad. But Ace Hardlight would have done it better. Oh, would he now? Oh, well, that's... You're wrong, but sure. Okay. Whenever you feel like getting off. Oh, boy. Well, at least I only have to get the final one now. Move! <laughs> the point remains. I still only need to get the uh, the final one, so that's nice. Like that is that is probably the best thing about these. The fact that it saves that. If it didn't, it would have made these a lot less fun. That is a really nice thing. Oh sweet! Thousand damage. And it's faster. I thought it was fast enough already, but fair enough. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is fast. Dead. Nice. Challenge complete. That went quite well. I'll take that. Blow up the statue. So that's where the ship was, under the statue. Well, I just lost 50 bolts. Unfortunately for Ace's ego, Team Dark Star will have to blow up the statue to access the hangar underneath. Oh, that'll be satisfying. Ratchet, you will have to command your bots to set the explosives on the statue. Got it. Full ammo, so that's always nice. Take it out. Good man. Nice. Do it again. A little more. Oh boy. Here we go. This is where it gets fun. Yeah, I imagine enemies are not too keen about what I'm doing right now. And I respect that. It's just... I'm going to have to stop you all, because reasons, oh jeez, oh I'm very dead. I'm very dead right now. Somehow I'm not actually. Ah, 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 Run away! Two seconds, survive for two seconds, can I? Yes I can. This is absolutely unbelievable folks. Ratchet has defeated the Torval battle course and escaped from the planet surface aboard a space shuttle hidden inside the Ace Hardlight Memorial. Only on Dread Zone folks, you can't make this stuff up. Whew! Yeah, that was a tad close. Hooray! <laughs> that went really well. Oh boy. There's boss number three. Ratchet, you have now qualified for the Vindicator tournament. You know, Captain Starshield holds the all-time scoring record for this tournament. Well, that's about to change. First, I got turret trouble. I'm really bad with turrets. I'm not gonna lie. I'm truly awful. So this can only go well. <laughs> this is going so very well. Oh, we are on round two, though. So that's not too bad, I guess. It's not like we're still on round one. Okay, now we're on round three. Oh, this is manageable. And it, it homes in quite nicely, so... There's that as well. 
where was the next enemy? Oh, there. I couldn't see it on the scanner, which is a bit annoying, but well. I just realised I'm going to have 250,000 bolts by the end of this. Which is a lot, obviously. Come on, please, stop dying. Oh, there's so many of you. And all separated as well. Not a fan of this. Slowly dying. Please stop shooting me. Oh, we are on the final round though, so that's good. Ah! Well, I can't shoot you, so... Oh, there's so many of you. Slowly destroying me. Oh, I didn't even kill all of them. <laughs> Fair enough then. Sweet. Was that it? I just beat this whole planet in like 20 minutes. Cool. Well, thank you very much for watching the, 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 the words. Okay, there were two more planets. Okay. I don't remember that at all. I genuinely don't remember much. I remember... If that's the planet I think it is, I remember that planet. But I don't remember Maraxis. But anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know, please like and subscribe and stuff. But uh, yeah, next time we're, f we're facing the Vindicator Tournament. And I remember this boss being really, really hard. So, yeah.